Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to The Foundry, and today we are reviewing another episode of WandaVision, episode 3. Uh, I'm JB, we got Slab, we got Ken, we got Tony, guys. Are you guys ready for a brand new episode where, surprise, not a lot fucking happens in this episode? I'm ready. Shenanigans, ahoy, or whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, it's been, we're doing great with these reviews, you know, we're busting them out on time for you guys, so we appreciate oh, yeah. everyone's uh, patience on everyone's channels, on Twitter, on everything, but uh, yeah, we are back in action. So what happened, Tony, what happened last episode? Give us a recap. Oh, fuck. For uh, the children. For the children. Show, a guy crawls out of the sewer. Uh, B man doing B things. True. Uh, I can't remember. Was she pregnant in the last one at the end? Yeah, she was right pregnant. At the end. The yeah, yeah, pregnant. There's a tree knocking on the window. That was the beginning of it. <laughs> it has nothing uh, to do with the overarching story of anything. You know, actually, the just, symbolism, uh, the symbolism of the tree yeah. represented oh that they were going to get pregnant in that episode. Yeah, I was thinking that too. You know, <laughs> you know, fertile plants. Yeah, fertile of him humans. Him knocking inside of uh, Scarlet Witch, the tree was knocking the window. You know, I'm, I'm sure yeah. everyone thinks that uh, Wanda's fertile enough, right? Open it was in that right, television that imagery wood. for sex. Cha cha cha. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. He anyway. Hit us with a ha cha cha cha. You think his dick's cold because he's made of metal? <laughs> I'm sure he's got some way to heat it up, my guy. <laughs> he's oh, got, yeah, like, I mean, a... he's, he's vision. Come on, he can fly, for God's sake. He's, he can't, doesn't he's have like a insulating. Penis. He's like insulating, like, like tubes, like through his body, like, uh, like, uh, Dracula's castle in Castlevania. You know? Jeez. It's, it's modern technology. He's like uh, a car. He's got a <laughs> he's, he's got a transmission oil in him and he's ready to go. Turn on the heat. <laughs> it's like, oh, you got heated seat? Well, I got a heated dick. <laughs> yeah. That is And it's detachable. Seat. I can make dinner and be in here with you at the same time. I think that's the stock model, Ken. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> It's standard issue. <laughs> I hated when Thanos took that like took that recall a little too serious. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this model's defective. Okay, anyway. <laughs> anyway, and it's about uh, uh, Vision's God. anatomy. It's not that I don't remember any of this in this episode. <laughs> well something had she got pregnant some way, didn't she? Oh, I saw this on a different <laughs> site. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Juan, it was Vision played by Johnny Sins, I guess. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, he so, would make a good Vision. Shut up. So, um, yeah, to start out the episode, uh, Wanda, she is preggers. She's pregnant, and they got a doctor. He's coming in, like, investigating. And, you know, Vision, he's just baffled. He's, like, he literally asked, like, how is she pregnant? And the doctor's all making light of it, and Wanda's, like, sweeping under the rug because she knows what she's doing. She's trapping him for 18 years. She's got him <laughs> him for 18 years, you know, and probably on the 18th, he's going to find out it wasn't his. Um, 18 years, 18 years. <laughs> <laughs> um, I knew where you were going with that. You <laughs> I was hoping someone would catch on. <laughs> it's uh, a good thing they're like in the sixties or whatever. That doctor would have been more, you know, suspicious of everything going on. <laughs> he was just like, "Yeah, whatever," and he just leaves. It's like, "Yeah, this is this is fine, I guess." You know, you're just super pregnant in like a day. <laughs> yeah, he, he, yeah. Vision's like, "How big? How how far developed should she be at twelve hours?" And apparently, she was like at four months, but. Yeah, it was yeah like even he was confused. Like, Does he's, someone he's... need to give Vision like the sex talk? <laughs> <laughs> the birds and the peas. He doesn't understand. I think it's uh, the bolts and the nuts. But what is sex? <laughs> Did like uh, Tony I... Stark not program that because he he doesn't know what sex is? <laughs> I don't know. He had to have. It's Tony Stark. All the Avengers are virgins. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the virginers. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh... fucking funny. It is a Disney uh, product. Anyways, um, <laughs> <laughs> so th there was just like not a lot happened this episode. It was not my favorite towards towards the end. There was like it was just a bunch well, of shenanigans of just like Wanda's like, oh, I'm pregnant. Oh, better hide my pregnancy from everybody else because people are going <laughs> to be wondering questions. And Big like belly. It was really weird as I was looking back through this episode. And at some point, like visions like he gets really serious and he's like, He's like, something's wrong. Like, this is weird. Like, something is wrong. Like, something is not right. Something is wrong. And then it just, like, cuts. And it rewinds 10 seconds. And then he, like, gets all jolly and cheery, like, right afterwards. As yep. if, like, she she rewound it or something. It was so, like, yep. 
abruptly. Like at the end of the other episode. The last of the other episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like with the B guy. He's like, nope, let's go back. No B guy. <laughs> yeah. This it didn't was, happen. Uh, I don't like it. It gets very intense, and I really enjoy those moments because it gets like just really tense and a little creepy too. Does he like grab her? He's like Wanda. Uh, yeah, there's like a sharp contrast between that type of thing and then the lighthearted like, oh, you know, we're gonna have a kid. Oh, I better read up on this book about children really fast. And then he yeah. flips through really fast because he's you know vision and he can read everything super fast. And he's like, <laughs> okay, I'm done. I understand everything. Is that his canon like, superpower? <laughs> it reminds yeah, me of a uh, fucking yeah. short circuit a little robot. There's a scene in Short Circuit where he reads like a whole dictionary and no like one knows what that is. <laughs> what is that? Vision is short. Come on, you guys know Short Circuit. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> That's getting cut. God. Someone's gonna know what short circuit is, I promise <laughs> That's you. That's getting I'm cut. Not the only That's getting cut. <laughs> Somebody comment if you know what this is. Oh, Somebody no, I gotta leave it in. Comment God damn it. if you know what short circuit is. Come on. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so, yeah, just throughout the episode, she gets bigger and bigger. She's, like, more pregnant, more pregnant, you know, which does not take over, like, nine months. It takes about, like, 30 minutes or something. Yeah, and then, like, she starts <laughs> getting contractions and things, and just, like, her powers go, like, all haywire because, she, because she's pregnant, I guess. So, like, just... Those are more of the shena- shenanigans of like just hijinks happening around the house because she can't control her power. And around the neighborhood pregnant. too, because like, the neighbors show up and be like, "Hey, some weird things are happening," you know, like yeah, like the a- power goes out. Yeah, yeah you're not earth- pregnant, are you? There's an earthquake and killed nine children on a school bus. Is something a little weird <laughs> going on happening here? Someone must be messing with shit. Oh man, <laughs> we better not suspect the new hey, neighbors. Hey man, the vibes are off. What's happening? <laughs> the vibes. Are- uh, Geraldine, is that the girl's name? Yes. yes. Yeah. Geraldine. So she shows up randomly and she's like, hey, what's going on? You know, I'm here to help you deliver children, I guess. And she does, you know, I'm probably skipping some stuff. And if anyone wants, anyone want to fill one, that in? Uh, you skipped the commercial, which I guess is, I don't know if anyone wants to add anything about the commercial because it's like Hydra Soak. So there's like a weird Hydra message in there. And like, it's, yeah. it's like a. It, I don't know. Sly, do you remember what it was? We were talking about it. Commercial. It shows like this mother who's like up to her stress level, like the max. They're like kicking the soccer ball on the fucking dinner table. The dog's literally (laughs) pissing in the kitchen. Like, like, I'm telling you, the mother's going to like eat a freaking double barrel. Anywho. (laughs) (laughs) Holy shit. Anyway. What's your home life like, dude? Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> they immediately pan to her getting all sudsy and shit. Oh, yeah. Like, like, mental hide breakdown. Mm. And then she's all like, you know, give it a try. Anywho, and then it just pans right back to freaking Wanda and Vision hiding under the table because it's pouring inside the Oh, house. yeah, because they set off like the sprinklers in their house. Because yeah. who yeah. has oh, sprinklers yeah. in their house? Seem to be on the fritz this episode. Yeah. For Very reason, much so. pregnancy or something, some external factor that we've unforeseen, she's just causing all sorts of chaos. Yep. On Sonic related. So yeah, so <laughs> she she delivers the babies and Geraldine helps and it's twins or whatever, right? Twins? Yeah. 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 <clears throat> and um she starts uh singing a little lullaby in her native language and stuff, and uh Geraldine's trying to connect with her and she's like, Your brother was killed by Ultron, right? And then she looks over and she like she's like, "What the, the fuck, fuck, you say what me, the little fuck bitch? did you just say?" And then, um, and then Geraldine's like, "Oh, nothing. Like, what do you mean? Like, I'm just, you know, doing <laughs> neighborly things. You know, like all happy go lucky." And then she fucking like force pushes her a bajillion miles <laughs> out of the neighborhood and is like, "Poof!" Out of a bubble and there's like a bunch of cops and like there's a bunch of government vehicles, a bunch of crazy stuff happening. And you're yeah. under arrest for mentioning Ultron. Yeah, it was uh, it was pretty crazy. So she got like kicked out of the of the dream, or out of the uh, little uh, whatever Wanda, this is. Wanda still unclear at this out point. Out of Wanda's vision. Shut yeah, and fuck up. <laughs> and what's what's weird about that? Like that whole time, like visions out because he's like panicking. He's like he's trying to go get the doctor who's about to be on vacation. So he like speeds off to go get him. Like super, <laughs> he's out super looking st- for like a plan B and shit. <laughs> yeah, he's like yeah, a plan B at this at point. The hardware yeah. store comparing plungers. Oh uh, no! <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to get a doctor 
and he's like, you know, you got to come with me. He just like puts him on his back and then super speeds back. I'm like, well, that's suspicious. Yeah, like Um, he doesn't give a fuck. Like the whole time I thought they're trying to conceal themselves so no one notices. And he was like, oh, fuck it, dude. Like, I don't care. Like, I got to flash my way. Like, whatever, I guess. Yeah, he's just doing it. Exposing, man. Yeah. Yeah, (laughs) I don't think he makes it in time anyways because Geraldine ends up delivering them. But like he gets back. I think he probably the doctor probably checks on him and he's like, okay, cool. And he goes back. These are babies. (laughs) Yeah, these are they look healthy. And then Vision just want, I think he walks out. And I think this is just before what you described with Geraldine being like, you know, yeeted out of the whatever they're in. And he's like he's like he walks out by the car and like you have uh, the two neighbors and they're just they're acting real sus cuz like and, uh, the girl, the annoying girl. Yes, the annoying no, nosy neighbor. What's her face? Um Sly, you know, I'm sure Agnes. you know. Agnes. Agnes, yes. Uh, like he, I think it was either now or earlier in the episode. He was like trimming his bushes into the brick wall, and it was just really weird. Like they were just like, I don't know. They were, they were just acting real sus. As if they're and then, like, like at this point, programmed, and there wasn't a lot of tension, like being like, yeah, detail. It like, was it was like purposely awkward at that yeah. point. And like they were talking, and like he starts to say something. Like he asked what's up, and he's like, it's because. And then she's like, shh. He's not supposed to. He's not supposed to know or something. And then it's just like super weird. And then I think something I happens and he walks away. It. Yeah, it's it was it was a super like it's like one of those scenes where it actually like it draws you in. You're like, what is going on here? It's like, like if we're on a television. Weird. It's like it's a television series and it's like don't break the fourth wall. And it's like, what are you talking about? What fourth wall? Like what what? You know, yeah. it, was, it was very, like, Truman show-esque, you know, as if something went off script and, like, Jim Carrey was supposed to know. Like, it was it was weird. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what you get from that. But I think he ends up going back inside before finishing that conversation because uh, Wanda, uh, like, pushed... Uh, A baby out uh, of her or two? <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, because she, she, <laughs> she pushed What's-Her-Face out of the okay. little bubble thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, Yes. The bubble thing. The bubble, the bubble thing. thing. Name for it or anything? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, and that's where it, like it ends, right? Yeah. And right there, yeah. the weird like uh, annihilation. Her being arrested. Thing. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, well, wouldn't uh, uh, Vision comes back in and he's like, "What? What happened? Where did she go?" And like, she's just very like, "Oh, oh, nothing happened." Look at our. Baby. She just left or something. Okay. It's just her, like, the, the, a lot of time, like, she's deflecting with Vision, you know? Like, hey, don't worry about that. Like, be be family. Like, hey, look, family. Oh, shit. You know? But it's, like, weird because it doesn't, oh, doesn't, doesn't seem like she realizes that she's even doing it. Because after she does it, she snaps out of it, and she's like, what did I just do? Yeah, like, like, it seems like she doesn't realize what's going on instinctively, herself. Instinctively, like, trying to protect what's hers or, like, trying to protect this, uh, this yeah. fairy tale life it seems that she's living. Yeah, it's very mysterious, and that's the part of the show that I really enjoy, actually. So, it was a very, very strange episode. <laughs> yeah, a very strange episode. There were some points where I was like, "Man, that's really fucking good storytelling," because it gets really creepy and stuff. And you, I don't know, like when it, she gets really quiet and she, it, like it starts to be like really sinister because you're like, "Yeah, this girl could actually do some damage if she wanted to." And yeah. It's a little like frightening, and it feels like sh- people are being held hostage. You know. Yes, that's exactly what it feels like. It's very strange. Yeah, but uh, other than like the kids being born and just like some awkward moments to be like, yeah, something is definitely up. Uh, there wasn't too much going on this episode. I'm yeah, fortunately, how much? Yeah, I think yeah. they le- they really leave you on like the the reveal of like Pretty you know where Geraldine there. went. Like it's just like oh she just popped out of this place and she's just. There now, because then I think it also switches from like the like a square uh, ratio of like the oh, screen to like widescreen. Oh. aspect ratio, yeah. Yeah, so like it's like oh we've we've now moved forward in time, or like we now know we're like not in this fairy tale world anymore, yeah. or something. I think that's what they're trying to go for. Yeah, but uh, it was a I would say it was a pretty good episode, you know. <clears throat> but uh is that our is that a rapidy rap there for it? Uh I think I so. Think. Yeah. I don't have anything else. I think we hit all the bases, yeah. Yeah. Excellent job, boys. That was that was a good one. But uh yeah, next time we'll be getting into some more uh I guess 
a little bit more action. Like, something to talk about, I guess, rather than just kind of like breezing through. It's just like moving the story along, it feels like. But uh, hey, yeah. if you guys enjoyed uh, another WandaVision review, make sure to, uh, you know, let's discuss some stuff in the comments. I mean, what did you think of Kid 1? What did you think of Kid 2? We'll see you guys later on the next WandaVision review. But until then, bye, everybody. Peace out. Goodbye.